Welcome, welcome. Tonight we're talking holiday dressing and I decided to take a little bit of a diversion from our typical and not necessarily talk holiday or dressing up party, but really holiday and what the trends are through the holiday season. So just for fun. And the reason being is we have some really beautiful holiday dressy fabric, but we don't have big quantities and I hate to make it up when you all know what will look good. That's what I think. But there's like four strong trends that are really popular. And so it doesn't matter what you do them in or how you do them. They're going to turn out really, really good, the four trends. So I want to cover these really strong trends. And so if you do them in a you know, silk blouse that's blue or red for the holidays, they're just going to be really beautiful. So let's play. Ask questions along the way. Thanks for being here. And we will have a giveaway a little bit later on. Uh, and so we'll just do all that in the next hour. How fun, right? Okay. All right. So this is a fun time of year. And you know what I figured out? This is not rocket science, so, you know, it's okay. I figured out that I don't enjoy anything when it's rushed. So it doesn't even matter what it is or how good it is. But when I'm rushed and when I have a time frame, when I have to have it done, it just takes all the fun away because all that's there is the, you know, I gotta get it done, gotta get it done, gotta get it done. So I think this is a great suggestion and one of you suggested a couple years ago to move the holiday dressing to October. And I thought that was just way too smart. But on top of that, I really wanna stress for you guys to really start getting yourself, take care of yourself, take care of your holiday dressing. Think about things you're gonna do and just make some extra things and have them on the shelf that are new. What we know about the holidays is new is really fun. It's really fun to have new. And it's really exciting to have something new that you haven't worn before and so I would really suggest you get going now. We did today and tomorrow, they're free shipping. You guys, in your email, there's a code. Use your email for free shipping. So it's the best time to get your fabrics. It's the best time to just kind of get ready and start sewing. Don't wait until December 3rd okay, or whenever. All right, so we're gonna give you some really good trends. So the first trend that we're gonna start with is capes. No big surprise. You all know about capes. And by the way, the cape fabric is on its way from Italy. It's been ordered and I know they've shipped it. So I'm just not sure exactly how long it will take, but I, I think probably next week it'll be here and then we'll cut it up and send it out. Only those who ordered it though, we, we only ordered, that was a pre-order on that. But there's a lot of, we have a lot of beautiful fabrics that are not that, the Laura Piana, and that we're gonna talk about. So, you know, one thing I love about this store is Saturdays, you know, sometimes it becomes a meeting place. And it's really fun when it becomes a meeting place for me and I think for others too. So we were talking about different trends going on for the holidays. And one of the trends we came across, we're gonna go through these pictures, is this first one, this bomber cape. So we know about cape and a lot of times, you know, when I did my cape, I put a hood on it. I love hoods. I just love hoods, especially on capes. I think they're just so, I just love them. But with this particular, this is a bomber cape. And so it's the bomber jacket done into a cape. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. And this is, um, this was out of Nordstrom. This is Rag and Bone, I'm sorry. It's out of Nordstrom's, but you can see it on either Nordstrom site or Rag and Bone site. You can see the details. They've got it in a couple different colors. Um, I showed you in the camel. They've also got it in a burgundy. So I decided to do it in a burgundy. I just love this. I think it's beautiful. This fabric is um, $57.99. Now we have Lululemon coming in and Lululemon will go up for sale on Thursday, Thursday or Friday, I'm not sure which. And, and people all the time say to me, what do you have for yoga pants? What do you have for yoga pants? And we don't have stuff for yoga pants in all the time. This is our stuff for yoga pants, but we get limited. I think that they just send us the end of those bolts that they can't cut automatically. But anyway, we have it coming in this weekend, heads up. Um, so $57.99 and I used a little bit of that Lululemon for the collar is what I used. You can use a ribbing, but you don't have to. You can just use any knit. You just you do need a knit because you've got to stretch it on. And so I wanted you to see this in the wine. We'll look at this next picture here in just a second. We've got a busy guys back there. Um, this is the wine color of the rag and bone. No, there's a funny thing, a funky thing on the shoulder. It's not funky, I shouldn't say. It's a pocket. I just didn't like it. I just didn't like the idea that there's a pocket on your cape. But I guess. 
You know, it's a good way to carry a handbag. I, I don't know. I guess it's just not what I would do. I did put a two-ended zipper in here. I love this two-ended zipper. Um, and this cape, you can see, is not cheap. So I use two yards of fabric, and with two yards of fabric, you can really do a whole bunch. So what I did is on this next photo, we'll see here in just a minute, um, I went ahead and I did a drawing of the bomber jacket. The bomber jacket is now 927. A lot of you have it because you just ordered it because we did the bomber jacket. But I wanted you to see how we did the pieces. So um, both the front and the back, it's a princess seam, the bomber jacket is. It's a curved princess seam, but it's a princess seam. And so then what I did, as you can see in the photo, I took it out 21 inches. And that is, for me, you know, you don't want a cape coming to your wrist. It'll look too big. It'll look overwhelming. A cape should come no more than kind of mid-arm, you know, kind of halfway between your, the elbow, I think, almost looks too, too small. Per this is just me personally. But you can try some on and measure how far they are from this point over to this point over here, and then you'll figure out. So I did 21 inches from the base over there, and you can see that that's what I drew it out. I love this fabric. This is cashmere, obviously, so what's not to love? But you can see I drew it out 21 inches and just followed the shoulder line of the bomber jacket. And then it went down 25 inches. So something about cashmere that you may or may not know is cashmere fabrics, not always, but many times, they have a little sawtooth edge, selvage, a little sawtooth selvage. So I went ahead and I left that, and I used that as the bottom. So what I did is I measured how long I wanted it was I measured how wide the fabric was. In this case, it was 58 inches. So I decided I was going to make my jacket half of that, or my, that, my, 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 bomber, my bomber jacket, my bomber cape, half of that. So um, this is the halfway through the fabric. So half was the front and half was the back, and in that way, um, I got I, I got the whole thing for a yard and so I think that's pretty good use of a yard of fabric and I just think it's beautiful I just really really like it um, so that's the pattern work the pattern I started with is this because it's got the collar all built in and then um, I just tucked it back in the front stitched it down. I did two rows of stitching. When you're doing a zipper, if it doesn't have a facing, you want to do two rows of stitching because if you only do one, the tape in the back will have a tendency to kind of flip and you don't want that, so you want to do two rows there. And my zipper was a little longer, so I just cut it off at the top. Don't cut it off at the bottom because it's a separating zipper and it won't separate if you do that. Okay. Okay, so could you put a pocket on the inside instead? Yeah, you could, or you know, keep in mind it's a cape. So I would do a little, you know, there's a there's a great selection of little, um, shoulder, you know, like crossbody bags. Just do a little crossbody bag underneath. I think, you know, I mean, your call. But that's what I would do. I would just do a little crossbody and then wear it over, and that way it just looks really nice. And but you could do pockets anywhere. The reason I don't like pockets, let me just tell you, is especially on pockets on a cape like this that are on the edge, they're gonna, if you put a phone in them or anything, it's gonna pull toward the phone. It's gonna pull in the direction of where you put. Even if you don't have anything in it, the fabric a lot of times will cause it to pull off one side. So I don't care for that asymmetric when it comes to pockets. What is the length of the two-way zipper? Um, I don't know, they're on our site. The two-way zipper, I, I wanna say 24 inch, but I'm not positive on that, okay? Okay, um, so easy enough capes. Capes are big for fall. They're all over the place. They're big for holiday. They're beautiful. You can make them long. You can wear leggings or yoga pants, and you just look gorgeous. So pick a color that is wonderful for you that you like because you're going to wear it a lot. I made that winter white one. I've already worn it a bunch. I just love it, especially if I'm on an airplane. I just cuddle up inside of it. I just absolutely love it. And, you know, you kind of look good when you're cuddling, <laughs> okay? Okay, so the next trend that we're seeing besides capes, and we'll come back to that because I want to talk a little bit more about it, is we're seeing ruffled blouses. Just, uh, not just ruffled, but really beautiful blouses. I, again, I, and I've said this, but a few years ago, I really thought the blouses were going out. Everything was knit. I thought we'll never see blouses again. We're seeing blouses everywhere. They're just everywhere, and I'm very proud of our blouse collection, I'm gonna call it. We have some beautiful blouses. 
and they're fun and they're easy to make and they don't take a lot of time. So make yourself a couple new blouses for the holidays. Um, this one underneath, I'll show it to you in a minute. I decided to make it blue because I felt like blue was very holiday looking. The one I have on, um, you know, I just love the fabric. And, I, and one thing about blouses is they're, they're higher in the neck. Everything I'm seeing for holidays, not everything. A lot of what I'm seeing for holidays is um, like a, a turtleneck, a high neck, a wrap neck like what I have on. Um, and they're pretty, they're very, very pretty. That we have that little mock turtleneck, the 101. I did this one just as a hang around, I'll show you that in a minute. But that 101 is fabulous. It's the sweater set just with a collar is what it is. And I, I just really liked it. So the blouse here underneath, um, this is Juliana's blouse. It's this one right here. It's a fit to stitch product. And I did 5730 is the pattern. I didn't do any changes to it. I loved it just the way it is. It's beautiful on. It's just really beautiful. And again, the goal is, what we want is, and we're making this big plan, is we're going to take these four trends, and, and I'll get through them here in just a minute, uh, but these four trends we want to mix and match. So we want the colors to work together. We want sleeves to everything because the sleeves are going to work with the capes. You don't want to wear a cape with sleeveless. It just is, is not a good combination. So you want sleeves in most of your things, and we're going to talk about vest here in a minute so that we can mix and match those. Can you show the zipper inside? Sure. I'm going to zip this down to the bottom so I can unzip it. Now here, if you noticed what I did is I added an extra inch so that when I folded it back, I would have a nice little, um, you know, just so that the cape and the, the zipper wouldn't end at the same place. So I gave it a full extra inch so that when the, and, and I stitched the tape twice, the zipper tape. I stitched it once on the edge here and then once there. So you can see how nice and flat that is and how, how smooth it lays. That was the goal. Okay. Can they see that okay? Okay, good deal. And it's really pretty and clean inside too. But I love that two-ended zipper. I think it's great, especially for cape. It's, it's almost like a button. It can act as a button because I can, um, I can leave it closed. I mean, I can open it up far enough to where it just buttons really well together. Let me see if I can get this. And I don't have my glasses on. It's hard for me to see if these are closed all the way. All right, there we go. So what I like about it is I can, I can do this one down, and I can do this one up. And it's almost like a little button just in the middle. Like, I love that look. I think it's just a great look. All right. So, so blouses. We're talking about really pretty blouses. The blue 622 is one. The one I have on is... Uh, 720, Sherrard's blouse. The fabric is, I don't know what the fabric is. <laughs> Sorry. I don't see the blouse, but I mean, it's on the site. Sorry to tell you that I don't know what it is. All right, I goofed. What do you run? Okay, that's okay. Sorry, I don't have a fabric number for that, but it's on the side. I love this fabric. It's really nice. What do you recommend wearing for a holiday party in December at Margaritaville on Hollywood Beach, Florida? The attire is tropical, holiday, chic, Jimmy Buffett style. Right off the bat, I'd wear a long vest. I'd wear, a, so the next trend I was going to tell you about, long is in. Long cardigans, long vest, long. <laughs> like long, like ankle, ankle length. And they're so cool, you guys, because, you know, which is, I did this one, the vest here. The vests are in. And vest, when you think about it, because you can dress them up as much as you want, I'm gonna play with this vest here for a little bit. Well, this vest is 1819. The whole reason I brought this vest back, 
So this is 1819. 1819 and 125, they're both together on the fit to stitch site. They're in pre-order stage right now. We're just getting ready to ship them out this weekend. You can still order the group. But the reason I did them is this is all about the fabric. This is such a cool jacket. I brought it out years ago. And I mean, the whole reason I ever made it was because it was a, it, Giorgio Armani had done it and it was all about the fabric and the fabric had to be two-sided. Well, we went away from that for a little bit, but this fall it's come back really strong. And we're, again, we're seeing lots and lots of two-sided fabrics. And you know, I don't mean, I just mean um, that both sides can be used. So you can look at a fabric and you can see this online. This fabric is $57.91. And I want to show you what I love about this. So I'm still on this party down in Hollywood, Florida, because I think a long vest would be fabulous because you could wear just a great belt with a t-shirt and leggings. And the vest, whatever it is, the sweater, whatever you put over it, would do all the work and be awesome because it could be lace, it could be dressy, it could be cat, it could, there's so many variables that you could do. It'd be a lot of fun. Okay, so what you're gonna see with this, this is 100% cotton. And this goes over, it's one layer. I'm kind of going to show this around a little bit. Let me kind of come over here. Ah, ah, ah. Oops, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. I knew I was connected, but I wasn't sure how bad the connection was. Okay, so I'm going to turn this around and kind of show you. This is just fun all the way home. So all you have, if you notice, is a front and back piece. There's only two pieces. So this is two-sided. It's 100% cotton. I decided to use the gray as the body and the black here, because you can see that you're gonna get so much more life out of it than if you use the black. It just, it brings more attention to the garment. Okay, so it's all, I just trimmed it all up with a decorative stitch, put a little clasp on it if I wanted to close it. It's got a French dart. Uh, it has a two-piece sleeve, no shoulder pad. And then what I wanted to show you is Armani on this jacket, all, they, all he did, and it's in the pattern, the notches and everything are in the pattern. All he did was take a little tuck right there and just stitched it down. So I want you to see the difference between this side and when you do that it's kind of like a little dart and it, it just has this great depth, depth and definition to it. I think this is like genius. So you can see how this gives it a more vertical look where this gives it um, you know a little broader look but it's not wrong. I like it. I just wanted you to see the difference. So with this once you make that lapel, you just stitch it down. You just top stitch it, just a few stitches right there, and then you leave it. So I just love it. I just love it. I think it's a great combination. And you could do, you could do a roughly little blouse, you know, at your Hollywood party. But I think a long vest, a long duster, all of those longer sleeveless garments are just really popular. And you're seeing them all over for, for the holidays. They're mixing them up in all kinds of dressy. So you could do velvet to the to the floor if you wanted to you know I mean you can just really mix it up and have a lot of fun with it okay so again this is fabric number um, 5191 and then I'm going to take this off just so we can see this pretty little blouse underneath because this is 622 is the blouse this is a beautiful blouse beautiful for the holidays 5730 there's no changes to it um, I mean you can just see it's just so pretty I did it in a blue for the holidays because blue is a big holiday color. And I just absolutely love it. Just think it just shouts beautiful. Shouts um, holidays to me. Just fun holidays. Okay. And again, the blouse is, you know, the dressing, all of it is meant to be fun and easy, especially when you don't put it off, when you don't delay it. Is that a fair statement? Okay. Would you ever line a cape for extra warmth in cold climates? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Um, I don't know that, you know, lining the cape, I mean, I, I'm sure they do it. I think, though, that once you've got a beautiful fabric, a cashmere, a wool, something that's really nice like that, um, I think I'd layer the underneath pieces. You know, I think I'd layer a shirt, a T-shirt, you know, I mean, just layers, a sweater. Layer what you're wearing underneath. That, that's probably what I would do. But, you know, there's not wrong. Whatever you guys want to do is good. For those of us who get lots of snow, how can we wear socks with leggings? 
I wear socks with leggings all the time. I don't know what does it have to do with snow because in the snow you have those great little boots and they cover up your socks in the bottom of the leggings so nobody ever even knows that they're leggings. So I put my socks on first, then I put my leggings on, then I put my boots on. Wear them like that all the time. Yeah, and if I didn't get that answer right, just let me know. What's the fabric number for the blue bl blouse? The blue blouse is 5730. The fabric to the blue blouse. Yeah, under the vest. Perfect. Okay, so our trends are capes. Um, and again, it can be holiday color, holiday color, or it can just be, it's going to be the look that's really popular for holidays. And you're going to see a lot of trends that are going that way. Make a great blouse. I'm going to show you another couple in a minute. Sleeveless. Sleeveless vest. Long sleeveless vest. And then the other thing is kimono. Kimono sleeves. And I'm excited that we had that kimono and raglan. I didn't make up the new pattern we have, 322, but it's just a home run right now. I'm just so pleased to see how the pattern, the new patterns are so visual. Typically, a lot of times, um, because I'm out there a lot and I, I see styling over and over for the, on the runways, and that's kind of how I pick it, but it's exciting to actually see it actually happening. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you do it and you wonder, gee, is this really going to work? And it actually does, so that's kind of exciting. Um, I made this shirt. Well, let's keep going on our picture, sorry. Is there a facing on the gray vest? No. No, that's the beauty of it. It's one layer. It's the fabric that's doing it all. But you've got beautiful cashmeres on our site. Beautiful cashmeres, wools. I mean, they're just gorgeous. This is that, if you just look at it, 5791. It's meant for both sides to be used. Um, there's, and again, you don't have to put an edging on it. I just did a decorative stitch. You could put um, a bias tape. You could put a piping. There's so many, so many beautiful ways. If you just searched single layer jackets, there, a whole bunch come up. And all the designers are doing something single layer because a lot of them are doing them cashmere. And because cashmere um, is typically beautiful on both sides, it kind of tells everyone that it's a cashmere who, you know, that's not wearing it because most fabrics have to be finished. But cashmeres do not. A lot, a lot of fabrics don't, but cashmere is one. Okay, let's go to the next picture. Oh, I wanted you to see this because this is our new pattern. This is, um, this is we're going to go over this one. It is um, 722. The cabby knit cardigan. And there's the next trend is cardigans. Now, I went ahead and I put buttons on this. The pattern calls. You can do buttons or no buttons. But I did this in a short sleeve. I did it in a kimono sleeve. Instead of setting a sleeve in, I did a kimono. And I just played with the stripes. I just love this jacket. I just love it. I, but I love the fabric before we started. So that was my, and then we have a beautiful brown. We don't have a lot left, so I hated to use it up. But we have a beautiful dark brown that really blends with this you'll see it. I think there's only a couple browns on the whole entire site. Um, but this is, this is um, 722. The striped fabric is 5814. And I'm going to turn that around just so you can see. It's so good looking. So this is what I wanted to tell you about, number one, using your fabrics. And number two, pairing them so that your long sleeves would pair with your kimonos and your sleeveless and your capes. So that's why I think it takes a little bit of planning to where you really are maximizing all your pieces. So this blouse that I have on, I really feel like I could put this gray on over it. And in fact, I'm going to do it just real quick. And the reason I, I, the main reason I put the black to the outside was so that whatever I wore with it, would pair with the black lapel a little bit more so than, than having to match the gray, if that makes sense. So I was looking to match the black on the lapel rather than worrying about the gray. So if the gray is the body, it's the lapel that's next to the blouse. And so I went ahead and did that. And then you can put a closure on it. I did. I put this little, I love these little closures, you know. But I mean, you can wear it open and just leave it like that too. So you can see it's just cute and easy and just really fun, okay?
Okay, so just think about all those variables. You've got, you're a sower and you've got a lot of variables and it's a lot of fun, um, but you want to maximize each piece you're making. I know a lot of us, we say, oh, I like that fabric and I want to make a new blouse, but it's just a really good way to maximize all your pieces. So with this one, I've got the brown, I've got, there's a, a black in there and there's a really pretty white. So I wanted to create a winter white blouse. So that was the purpose of my blouse. I'm gonna go over this cardigan first. This is the one with the pockets. So you can see the pocket, I just matched the horizontal stripe to it. And I love the play on stripes. Then it's a raglan. Uh, you guys know how to do the raglan. You can just make it the length you want. I rolled it up. But again, it's just cute. And then I'm going to take that jacket off so we can just see, or the cardigan off, so we can just see the blouse below. And the blouse below is done with, um, in mind to go with other things. So this is 617 is that blouse. 617 is Mark's twisted blouse. Easy to make, great blouse pattern. And the fabric is 5788. It's a rayon. It's a winter white. And the cool thing is, is it'll look great under here, you know, the collar. It'll look great under the cape. The goal was to look good under everything. Under here, it'll look good under the vest. You know, I can put it on with this. So I've got a blouse. I've got several blouses and several vests and several capes that all work together. And so the plan was to you know, get these all to work together for me, especially if you're, you know, you, you can make a few pieces, but really have them go a lot of miles. And then with my black too, I can put the black on with this and you can see it really changes the look up. There you go. Or of course the black with this cape too looks great. Black is always a, a great response for everything. Okay, um, what was the pattern number for the long vest? It's 1819. So 1819 is Sheila's jacket. That's not on the site, it's only on the Fit to Stitch site. The two of them were a fundraiser we did. We're getting ready to ship them this week. We have extra, we printed extra. So for 1819 and 125, I think they're under the donation section on Fit to Stitch. Um, 1819 is Sheila's jacket and that's the great, that, that's the vest. Very simple, the whole idea, I mean, Armani did this beautiful, and this originally where I stole this idea from, just a great jacket, and just easy, um, and I just love the, the way he did it. So we'll put that on just so it goes at home. Okay. Okay. Okay, any ideas to modify capes for a smaller frame? I'm only 5'2 and feel that capes swallow me up. They're going to if you, if you buy ready to wear. So yes, let me tell you how to measure for a cape. Um, three quarter sleeve, halfway between your elbow and your wrist, from the here to there. Okay, measure across. That's where a cape should be. That's the width the cape should be. The length the cape should be, should just be as you put it on and you grab your hands I'll put this on for you. Okay, and I'll kind of demo it just so that you get it. Capes will swallow you up if you're not careful, you guys. You don't want a cape swallowing you up, that's for sure. I'm sure I'm going to hit my mic, so just know that it will sound funny. Okay, so see how it's halfway? Well, mine's a little bit longer, but you want it not to the wrist bone. Basically halfway. Oh, I don't have it on center, that's the reason, sorry. So as I stand out like that, you want it halfway. And then I like it as I grab my hand at the bottom, when your hand just goes down, that's how I like them to end. So I'm not looking in a mirror, and so I may not have this on right. You'll have to forgive me for all this. But that's, if you do that, no matter what your height is, it'll be proportioned to you. So halfway between your wrist, don't let it go to your wrist. You'll look like you've got your daddy's jacket on halfway because your hands have to be free when they're down if the if the cape is too big for you I, I i appreciate that you'd ask that question because 
it will swallow you up and you'll think, oh, I can't wear capes. Everybody can wear capes. You just have to make them proportionate to you. And because I'm tall, you know, I can buy them and ready to wear. But if you're shorter, 5'2", you're going to have a hard time. And then again, the length, just as you put your hands to your side, you can grab the bottom. That's a really good length. If you make them too long, again, they'll swallow you up. If you make them too short, they'll look like they're, you know, for your little sister or you know what I mean. You'll, grow, you'll have grown out of them. Okay? All right, and other than that, they're just a rectangle. I'm 5'3", and I love the long vest. Me too. Me too, I love them. However, when I make one, I usually split it up on the sides. Otherwise, I look like one of the seven dwarf suggestions. They're actually, I, I, you're right on. They're actually, what they're doing is they're splitting up the sides, they're actually splitting up the back, and they're splitting up the front. So there's actually four sections. Um, I hate to say like a car wash because you all will think negatively. But they're just long, but they're loose. They're not, they're just pretty. I mean, if you look up, like search for um, dusters for holiday or long vests for holiday 2022, you'll see some really beautiful ideas. And there's so many great ideas. And the sweater set is a great base for it to use at. Um, Patty's Princess, it's, a, it's kind of a V-neck. You could, you know, just leave off the ribbing around the neck and you can use the V-neck and go long with it. It would be beautiful. It'd have shaping to it. Um, in the back, don't be afraid to like do something like this. You want some shaping. Shaping always, you know, a box is never a positive. The shaping is always better than a box. So you can always run, you know, just make it. You can do this at the last minute. I always just, once I make it, I put it on and then I turn around and run that, you know, figure out where I want the elastic and just sew the elastic in. So just decide where you want it and put it in and it's really easy and it looks really good. All right, what's the pattern number you're wearing? I'm wearing um, 720. Got all these patterns here, I've lost track. 720, let me go over them just so that I can you know, know that I've mentioned them all. I can't remember what I've said and what I haven't. Sorry about that. Okay, um, does blast number 617 have set in sleeves? Yes, it does. Okay, so we started with this one right here is Giuliani's blouse. The, you know, the blouse underneath, 622, and the fabric is 5730. Okay? And this is on a pre-order, but we're just getting ready to ship them. We'll have them probably all shipped out by Monday. Same with the 1825. They're all get. I mean, they're all, just the finishing touches are being put on everything. 722 is this cardigan. 722. And 722 is 5814 is the fabric. It's a stretch woven that has stretch in both directions. Awesome fabric. The blouse right here is Mark's Twisted, 617. And the fabric is, um, I said it before, 5788. It's a off-white, it's a rayon. It's very pretty. It has a little wrinkle to it, which is exactly why I did this twist, because it almost looks like it's the nuance of the fabric. So I decided I just really like that. You know, it doesn't have to be pristine and proper and just perfect. It just kind of goes with it. On this blouse, I was just going to tell you that it has a zipper directions in the side seam. I don't ever have to, I don't ever put a zipper in it. I can get it over my head without putting a zipper in it. So you might try it just when you do a muslin. I think you can probably get it on without. All right, this one right here is 125. This is the 1819 Sheila's jacket and 125. Those are both together. They're both reprints. This one here is 195. This fabric is, I think it's actually gone. I felt bad because I made it, I made it last week. And the fabric, it seemed like there was quite a bit of fabric and then it's, it's completely gone. Um, 57.94. It's 100% cotton. I mean, it's a beautiful piece of fabric. So the goal, my suggestion was, just make a, a great new shirt that just you can throw on, that feels good. I think at the holidays, 
I said it earlier, but I, I really think it's fun to have just some new things. that when you walk into your closet, you just throw them on because they're fresh, they feel good, they look good, and you just really like them. But make it a little bit bigger. Somebody said to me a little while ago that she's making everything to where it fits, but she doesn't want to wear it. It feels too tight. Or she thinks it's too tight. Well, that's, that's not fit. Fit is comfort. And, and if, it, if a garment is too tight, that's what we call overfit. You're making it too small, especially if you don't even want to put it on. I mean, the shirt I have on, I could easily go to bed in it. I could, you know, I could easily, it just feels great. And it doesn't even so much feel like I have a, ha, even have it on. Now, not everything can be like that because this is loose. But when you're making your t-shirts, don't get them too tight. You know, again, that's, don't get them big like you guys do, but Okay, the vest was the bomber jacket, and that bomber jacket was nine twenty-seven, and then we made it into a cape. And there's we, there's directions that we put up as far as how to make it wider, and how to make it longer. And then my plant has lasted from last Christmas party. I'm so excited, you guys. This is a poinsettia that I bought last year. I've never had a poinsettia. I'm 64 years old. I've never had a poinsettia live from one year to the next. And I'm so excited, and I've read all kinds of directions on how to get it to bloom red, and it has to have so many hours of darkness. And so that's been in the plan, and, and it's going to happen. And it's got little blooms, like, all over it. So when you guys come to the party, December 3rd is our holiday party. This We're going to name this, I don't know, what are we going to name this? This is Henry. Henry the poinsettia. It's a terrible name to call a poinsettia, but poor poinsettia. But... You're going to see it'll be all red by the time the Christmas party comes. Cross my fingers. I've, it's made it a whole year. I can't imagine that I screwed up at this point. All right, and then this is 18-19, and I think you got the fabric. So I think I went over all of them. I did want to mention to you that 3020, the the leggings pattern, we sold so many of those, but we've got them reprinted, and they're back in stock, and they're good to go. So thanks for your patience on that. And everything that we had done, it's shipped. It's all shipped. Okay, would you be making, maybe doing a sew along on 617? It looks tricky to me. Um, I think we've done a sew along on 617, but it's so easy, you guys. It's like one of the easiest patterns I think we have. It's so ridiculously easy. So don't let that stuff fool you, okay? I love that black top. What pattern is it? So this pattern is 125, and this, honestly, of all the patterns I've ever done, <laughs> here's my big confession. This is probably one of my favorite. So I still this out of Neiman Marcus years and years and years ago. And I mean, I, I love a turtleneck, but look at that turtleneck. I mean, is that incredible? It just wraps around. It's got a yoke over here. It wraps around. It ties into the sleeve. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely love it. But you know, after patterns get so old, everybody has them. But since we did the 1819, to me, what looks great with that 1819 is this 125. And it's just such a perfect pairing that I put the two back together. So that's what that pre-order is. The, the, like I said, it's, it won't really be a, it's still a pre-order, but we'll have them all shipped by Monday. So even if you order them tonight, you know, they'll ship next week. It's still sort of a little pre-order. But anyway, yeah, you stole the styling, not the garment. I did steal the styling, you're right. I'm always stealing styling. There's no copyrights in the ready-to-wear industry. So I just love this. And I've made it obviously many times and there's just not one time that I've made it that I don't love it just love it um, what size elastic did you put in the back I think you're referring to probably this little jacket um, I always use the two inch elastic but I cut it to be one inch wide so I actually split the two between this one and this one I used the same length but I did the same thing here I, so I usually use a one inch wide and stitch it a little bit in from the side. So it's probably about three quarters of an inch when you go to the back there. Um, please say the pattern number for the top on the form. There's four tops on forms. So that's gonna have to, yeah. Okay, so this pattern number is 1819. The blue underneath is, um, 622 is the pattern number. This pattern number is 195. This pattern number is 927. This pattern is 920, no, sorry, 617. 
And that's all the tops on the forms there are. So is there an easy way to modify the leggings for pregnancy? Yeah, just use, it's very easy. So let me try to explain this. It's so easy to show you. It's a little harder to explain it without showing you. So when you're pregnant, all you're doing is going from a bigger waist to probably the same size leg you've always been. So do that in your pattern. Go from, take the French curve and line it up on your side seam. Let's just say for an example, you're an 18 waist, but you're a, a four leg. And you take the 18 and you put your French curve on the 18 and then just pivot it into the four by the time you hit the crotch line. Now listen to me because I'm saying it really clear. Line the French curve up, put it on the 18, pivot at the crotch line, pivot it to the four and it'll automatically draw the angle you need, works perfect. Then on the inseam, do the same thing. Go from the 18 to the four through the crotch. So by the time you get to the crotch, stay with the four. That's it. And it's really easy to do. You know, when I was pregnant many times, they had those panels and they don't, I don't even know if they do that anymore, but those panels were awful. So you don't need to do panels. Just do like Jags woven would be great. Just learn to go from one size tummy to one size leg, which is what I did after a while. And it's really, really easy. Is your 125 made with leather and knit? No, just knit. This is all knit. The 125 is just all knit. I would like to make a lace bomber jacket. What ribbing would I use? Well, if you're doing lace, um, I, I think you want a fine ribbing, personally. Like, um, you don't have to use a ribbing, though. Just use any knit. You could just use any knit that matched the lace. Ribbing is a little bit dated, a little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that it would look bad, but see, this is just a knit and it looks pretty, doesn't have to be ribbing. Are you wearing a knit on your Sherrod's blouse? Is that a woven? It's beautiful. Thank you. No, this is a woven. So um, I love this blouse. I love this blouse. I love this blouse. I love this blouse. <laughs> it's a woven though. It's, I don't think I had the number. I didn't have the fabric number, you guys. I don't know why I didn't write it down. Um, yeah, just scroll down for a little bit to the wine. You'll see it's a, like a whole little collection of wine fabrics. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're looking. Keep going, keep going. No, wait, you went too far. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no. It's a leopard, like keep going up oh that's it right there isn't it yeah that's it five seven nine eight okay there you go five seven nine eight nowhere on this paper do I have five seven nine eight and I don't know why so I apologize this paper stays with me from the time the webcast sewing starts to the time it finishes and for some reason I didn't have it on there, so sorry, 5798. And you can see the fabric. I think it's always helpful to see the fabric before somebody puts it into conception. And I always wear a belt with this. I don't know why I like it. I have to wear a belt, you guys, when I'm doing these webcasts because I have to put my microphone pack on somewhere and I have to wear a necklace. <laughs> that motivates what I'm wearing on some level. But I still, even if I wasn't in a webcast, I would still wear the belt. I just love the asymmetric of this shirt and it's easy to make. I love the tie. Oh, it's just so pretty. I like everything about it. And this was um, Monica Sherard. That's why we called it Sherard's Blast because Monica gave me the idea. Okay. I feel like I purchased the blue ruffle sleeve pattern. Any chance it was issued previously? Well, 622 is, is the pattern. Yeah. The, yeah. Any chance. It's not, it's been issued before. 622 is a fit to stitch pattern. So it's, um, it was issued with the series 10. Yeah, just the last series. So we just sold out of them. And so I decided instead of just printing a willy nilly amount, we'd figure out how many people wanted them. And so that's why we did a pre-order. The pre-orders just help us get it in the ballpark so that 
instead of waiting to print again, and every time we print, you know, smaller quantities cost us more money than larger quantities. So we're trying to just get it to where we get close. It's not working, but we're trying. <laughs> we're getting better. Suggestion, use the pattern envelopes with a pin in the garment. That way everyone will see it instead of asking a lot. Oh, that's a cute idea. Okay, or some way to, to tag them up there. But they take away from how pretty the garment is, you guys. Just keep asking. If you get tired of hearing me say it, just turn the volume down for a little bit, okay? 195 is a sweater set. You were describing a top more as a t-shirt. Did you just add sleeve to this top? Well, this is my t-shirt. I mean, I know we call it a sweater set, but this is just my t-shirt. It's 195. The base just has, you can either cut it on the fold or you can add a little bit for the front of the sweater set. So yeah, I just add, add the sleeves. It's my favorite, favorite pattern. 195. There we go. We'll tuck that in. That'll be her head. Okay. Okay. What else are we doing? Oh, we didn't have our drawing. Let's have our drawing. How are we doing on time? Yeah, I forgot. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're going to give away pattern number 1919. And this is compliments of someone who had a duplicate. So they sent it back and said, go ahead and give it away. And this is just a cute jacket. Wait, I was just in Pinehurst. Nope. Wrong city. I was just in Breckenridge last week, and one of the ladies did the muslin on this. And it was so beautiful. It was just beautiful on her. It does take a little bit of time and patience to do all the piecing, um, but it's really beautiful. Calvin's jacket number 1919. So what you're going to do for your code, or whatever you want to call it, your password, are we ready? Okay, you're just going to put in 1919. Just 1919. Now, you guys, a little while ago, um, I guess they were observing that some people were saying they're putting them in too many times. The bot selects the person who wins. If you put in in more than one time, the bot will not select you. So some people think if they put their name in a whole bunch of times, it's going to help their chances. It's actually going to kill your chances. So the bot will not select if the entry's been more than one. So don't put it in more than one. Otherwise, you're out. Just put in 1919, one time, 1919, that's it. And just I always think it's cute because sometimes when I go back to, to check comments or answer questions, um, people always, in the after deal, they always put in 1919. Is, this is only live. This is only if you're here tonight, Tuesday night, 8 to 9. It's only those of you watching live that get an opportunity to win this. If you're after the fact, you do not get an opportunity. Sorry. So we appreciate you all watching live. It's our way of saying thank you. And you can make it for Christmas. It'd be a beautiful Christmas jacket. Okay. So do we have a winner yet? Or are people still putting in? Okay. We'll give it a little bit more time. All right. So you guys, today is the official launch of you're starting to sew. So <laughs> you're starting to sew. It's a good time to start to sew for the holidays. Get yourself some fun new things. And, you know, the holidays will be here in no time. They're here, kind of. Okay. December 3rd, if you're in the area, if you use miles, you can fly in. Come to our party. We've got a guy playing piano. We've a piano, keyboard. We've got this guy who's cooking this time. He's doing the whole menu. He's one of the chefs in one of the best restaurants here in Dallas. But he's just good friends. We've known him for a long, long time, and I've asked him if he'd do the whole party, and he said yes. So the food is going to be amazing. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, Karen Tate. Huh? I don't think so. Yeah. Karen Tate. You are the winner. Karen, if you'll send me an email, Peggy at SilhouettePatterns.com, tell me, tell me that you won. Tell me what you won. Because I'm telling you, my brain has got too many things going in one too many places. Okay. So there was a question. I missed that question. Sorry. You said you made the maroon cape with one yard. Did you mean two yards? No. No, I don't think so. It's 60 inches wide. So I put the width this way. I did mean two yards. Thank you. 
It's not really two yards, it's kind of a yard and a half, but I know you have to buy two yards. Because this is 25 inches. And 25 and 25 is 50, and that's more than a yard. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So it's the width that goes this way. This is the width. But the length, you're past a yard, you're right. Thank you. Yeah, it's two yards. That means you guys are listening. Thank you for helping me out. I appreciate it. <laughs> we can buy with a little help from our friends, so thank you. Anything else? Are we good? Okay. Can I see the back of 617? Sure. We just go like this. We just spin her around, and you can see the back. Yeah, we'll get a camera. We'll get the camera close on it. What's the pattern number for the black twist turtle neck top? For those of you who've heard me say this 47 times, close your ears. This is 125. It's called Leanne's Top. It's only on the Fit to Stitch site. 125 Leanne's Top. It's only on Fit to Stitch. It's under, I think it's under donations. One of those two. Do you have more legging friendly fabric besides the one you use for the sew along? You guys, I have that Lululemon and coming in Thursday. Thursday or Friday, it'll be here. It's the best. We call it Lulu Sprite. It's not cheap. It's thirty-four ninety-nine a yard. It's not cheap, but it's fabulous. It's fabulous. So I have that coming in a black. I have a lot of new fabrics coming in. You know, this is the time because the holidays. Most of the designers have shipped for holidays, and so we're going to start to get barraged with fabrics. So just hang in, hang in. Okay. Sorry if I missed it, but have all the fall patterns been shipped? We have to wait a while to get an Australia you do. They've been shipped about a month. Yeah. So that means that's the good news because if you're in Australia and they've been shipped about a month, you should have them any time. <laughs> they should be showing up any time. Do you have a suggestion for the extra half yard of fabric with the cape since buying two? Um, yeah, what would I do with a half yard of fabric? I think I'd actually, you really want to hear my idea? I think I'd actually buy three, and I think pants to match would be stellar. I, I would even wear them together. I saw the other day where there was pants with a cape, and they matched. They were beautiful. But even if you didn't do the pants with a cape, the pants, you know, the pants out of this would be amazing. Or any of the cashmeres, any of the wools we have, but if you only wanted to buy the two, what would I do with that half yard? I'd probably do a little tank. A tank in the front and then do a knit back. Because I even think a tank under here would be really pretty. You know, just to give it a monochromatic look. I think, and, and maybe pipe it with a little bit of black to match this. I think that would be beautiful. Okay? Okay. What fabric is it? Um, this fabric, the wine, is fifty-seven ninety-nine. It's a cashmere, fifty-seven ninety-nine. Okay. Hat. I wouldn't make a hat, but I, I'm more of a beanie person. I'm not a hat person. Scarf, half yard. I don't know if it's enough. It's too bulky for a scarf. Um, but you'll figure it out. You're creative, man. That's what the fun is. Um, Yes, would it look nice with a hood? It'd look great with a hood. So not this Saturday, but the following Saturday, we're going to have a sew along, and we're going to sew this jacket, the 1819. And I did that because I want you all, you'll have the jacket by then. You'll have it in hand. We'll go ahead and put in a sleeve, but I want you to really see these two-sided fabrics that are so amazing, what they can do, and how good this pattern is. This should be in everybody's pattern collection. I love that. I love that gray. I think it's just really pretty. Okay. All right. Are we good? Then we're going to see you in a week from a week from Saturday. <laughs> a week from Saturday. It's holiday. It's officially holiday season. Happy sewing. Bye. See you next time.